Yo, what's up, virgins? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys probably know, the United States is going through their election right now, and it's pretty much just the Republicans versus the Democrats, even though personally I think we'd be best off with Kanye West as president. So in the meantime, I thought I'd let the Republican and Democrat party duke things out on the court and see which team can come out on top. So the way I chose these teams is I looked up the most popular Democrats and Republicans, as you can see on the screen, except I didn't feel like making Sarah Palin, so I replaced her with Ted Cruz. I made their builds as accurate as I could, with a few exceptions, and then also their overalls did not not reflect their real life abilities at all. Instead, to make it fair, I gave them preset overalls that made the teams fair. Just a few things before we hop into the game. They do have the correct height. They're all 40 years old. I filled out all their vitals. Here's an example of me making Donald Trump. Like, I'm not going to spend all the time in the world making them, but I made him fairly accurate. And as you can see with the badges, I kind of just gave them whatever I thought was fitting. Here, making Barack Obama, and as you guys know, this man is a pure shooter. <laughs> That's what I do! So he gave him the almost maxed out overall three-point shooting, but a 95 overall just as well as Donald Trump is a 95 overall. When it came to making Hillary Clinton, I gave her 99 ball handling and 99 hands. And then my favorite player to make is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Gave him the nickname of the machine. Coming in at 6'2", 249 pounds for the center. Maxed out shoulder width, maxed out strength. And then believe it or not, this is Joe Biden. I swear we'll look like him later. I know, it already looks like him. A little Easter egg here, I gave Joe Biden the nickname Rain Man. I hope some of you understand that joke. And then also, this is Bill Clinton, by the way. He was my last player that I made, and since he did some pretty cool things in office, I gave him a pretty cool haircut. I'd say he's an alpha dog, extremely confident. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. By the way, if you guys want to use this roster, as you can see on the screen, Republicans versus Democrats. I assigned the Republicans a Washington wizard since the Republicans currently hold the presidential office with Donald Trump. And then I assigned the Democrats as the second most American NBA team, the Philadelphia 76ers. Also made sure they were dripping for this matchup and their American attire. And here we're hopping into the game. As you can see, the starting lineups for the 76ers, a.k.a. the Democrats, and the Wizards, a.k.a. the Republicans. As we get started here, the machine Arnold gets the tip. The Democrats are the first to put points up on the board as Barack Obama breaks Ted Cruz's ankles on his way to the easy bucket. Barack Obama gets a steal here, just jogs his way down in transition, but gets easy layup. Hillary Clinton gives the ball to Barack Obama for his third bucket in a row to start the game off hot for the Democrats, leading 6-0. As you may know, Bill Clinton is a punisher in and out of office. Very strong man. He didn't do it. Hillary Clinton goes in for the nice little jelly, putting the Democrats up 8-0. Not a very good start for the Republicans. They have to call a timeout. But then Mike Pence comes off the double screen, goes in on slow motion for the easy layup. Barack Obama with a nice ball of life crossover right there against Ted Cruz on his way to the easy bucket. But then Mike Pence crosses by Barack himself and goes up for a nice easy layup. Trump works his way in here and again Bill Clinton with a nice block, smacking those balls. Then Hillary Clinton finds Barack Obama to open for the nice backdoor layup. Joe Biden takes a high IQ shot, clunks off the rim. Donald Trump gets the rebound. And the president goes the length of the floor with a nice MJ-like move. Mike Pence gets a nice screen from George Bush, goes in for the easy layup. Obama puts some nice moves on Ted Cruz here, who has pretty much lost his legs at this point. Gives the ball in to Miss Hillary Clinton for the nice easy layup. Mike Pence again here, just working the paint with a nice Euro in traffic for the layup. Barack Obama squaring up legless Ted Cruz, goes in for the easy bucket over Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mike Pence finds Arnold for the nice easy backdoor layup. Big strong man. Joe Biden here with a shack in a full moment of the game. Went for the alley-oop to 5'8 uh, Bernie Sanders or so and clearly misses it off the rim. Just looks pretty stupid at that point. Then Ted Cruz goes the length of the floor for a nice little easy layup. Then Mike Pence again off the ball screen goes in for another layup. He has most of their points at this point. Mr. Bernie Sanders with a nice step back jumper. Misses it but Miss Hillary Clinton with a nice put back. Really working those balls. Then Ted Cruz off the ball screen. Hits a fancy layup over Mr. Obama. Bernie Sanders with another old man shot. Mike Pence takes it the length of the floor again for a nice easy layup to tie the ball game up. Hillary Clinton gives Mike Pence the work, takes a nice floating jumper, bringing the Democrats up too. But then Bush inbounds the ball to Mike Pence and he puts up a prayer of a shot. <laughs> That of course goes in, putting the Republicans up one at the end of the first half. Bernie Sanders is confused, he doesn't know where he is at. George Bush mocking Obama on his way out like he did something that half. Love we'll to see it. Then Hillary Clinton has 10 in the first half and Mike Pence has 15. Back in action here, Mike Pence takes another old man three-pointer. 
The Terminator gets the rebound, puts it back up for a nice easy layup. The President goes inside for the nice strong bucket on Bernie Sanders. Obama catches it for the open three. He has a 97 overall three, but doesn't want it. Goes inside, gives the defense a punish. And Ted Cruz here puts the move on Obama, finds the awkward shot, and it's good. Obama again just blowing by the defense. Ball clunks his head on the way out. Hillary Clinton works a pick and roll with her husband here. She gives him a terrible pass. Love the chemistry, but they still get the nice layup. And then Mike Pence goes into the double team, throws it off his feet a couple times, and George Bush right there for the nice easy layup. Obama again squaring up Ted Cruz, blows by the defense for the nice easy layup. He has 18 of their 30 at this point in the game, but here he is getting blocked by the little T-Rex Ted Cruz. The Democrats with a nice ball movement here as Biden gives it in to Bernie Sanders to Bill Clinton with the layup over the president. Arnold goes right back at them, gets a nice rebound and the putback. And here State Farm brings us about the whitest play of the game you'll ever see. Mike Pence here with a needle threader of a pass to George Bush. He stands around in confusion for a few seconds and gets blocked by Bernie Sanders. Bernie passes it up court to Biden. Joe Biden with the play of the game, taking on Trump. Here's Rain Man. The matchup everyone came here to see snatches his ankles right through the defense with a nice bucket. But then Mike Pence answers back with a nice layup from the block, putting the Republicans up one point. Barack Obama again abusing Ted Cruz with the layup of his own. But Mike Pence finds his president for the nice open bucket, putting the Republicans up one. Barack Obama finds Bernie Sanders for the nice layup. Trump wanted it, couldn't get it. And then Pence off the screen, goes inside for the contested layup. He's on fire tonight somehow, I don't understand. Ball goes inside the Trump. Looks like a dunk, but just another jelly from the boys at the Republican Party. And then Pence exposing Hillary on defense, just like they did to her emails with a nice easy bucket. Then good old Obama just blowing by the defense again. Finishes with a nice hop step layup. Probably the most fundamental white guy out there on the floor. Now here you can see Arnold with the ball in the corner. Trump's wide open with the high three point shooting. Gives it up to Bush though. Another shot clock violation. There was a ton of those this game. But the Republicans are still up three with two minutes left to go. Hillary throws up the big brain questionable alley-oop to Bernie Sanders. I don't know why they want to find him on the lob. Be amazing if they could. But he's got a vertical of about four inches. Don't know what they're going for there. Brett Brown's not liking what he's seeing. He's obviously going to be fired again for this performance of his players. Then Donald Trump finds Bush on the nice cut to the basket over Bill Clinton, putting the Republicans up five. The Democrats here with the awkward ball movement, Obama to Hillary, Bernie Sanders to Obama for the terrible three-point shot. Off target from outside. Trump gets the rebound, takes it the other way, ignores the ball screen, just goes full ISO mode, puts the work on the whole Democratic Party, and puts the Republicans up seven points. Again, the Democrats with the awkward ball movement. Biden had the open three, passes it up to Hillary kind of being a simp there but Hillary does get the nice weird layup and then George Bush inbounds the ball to Mike Pence and this is the weirdest pass in 2k that I have ever seen it was up for so long while I was watching this game I had to go look back at it and see how high it went just a very weird pass it actually went up to pretty much the equivalent of the VIP booth probably a good 100 feet 200 feet in the air don't know what Mike Pence has been on probably a steroid check coming up in the near future and then there's a classic mascot just air humping in the background <laughs> And then here we see Mike Pence triple teams find the open man and Ted Cruz. Nobody likes that guy. Donald Trump demanding the ball from half court. Point range and beyond the arc and then some. Off the glass three pointer. I don't know what's going on. The Republicans are up eight. Trump is loving this in game. I'm sure he'd be loving it in real life. Mike Pence is a player of the game here with 21 points, 10 for 18 shooting. Then 18 seconds left here as the Republicans are up age. Obama takes the open three but misses. Terminator with the rebound. Gives the ball to Trump. Gives it to Pence. And they just dribble it out for the duration of the game. So the Republicans win after their slow start. Again, here's Ted Cruz with his T-Rex arms. The whitest moves you've ever seen on an NBA floor. Love to see it. Donald Trump with that MJ layup. And here's the stat leaders for that game. As you see, Mike Pence had 21 points, Donald Trump had 13, and then for the Democrats, Barack Obama, rightly so, had 22 points. Hillary Clinton questionably had 12, and nobody else really did anything. Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden were pretty much getting some cardio in. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let's leave some hateful comments in the comment section below. Obviously, you guys know what you could be fighting about there with the subject matter of this video. All jokes aside, though, please stay safe during the Civil War we're probably coming up on. I love you guys. If you don't sub, you're going to wet the bed tonight. Peace.